morning. It is Monday morning, and this week we are gonna we're gonna do the week together. I've got into this habit of saying we're gonna do things together. Um, I'm just gonna run with it. It is just a normal. Well, actually, no, it's not really a normal work week this week. All going well. It's gonna be a pretty exciting week. I feel like the camera lens is a little dirty. Let's just uh. There we go. I don't know how well this turns up on camera because this camera has a, does a really good job of like making my skin look better than it is. I am in the midst of a flare up. What caused it? I would love to know. I wasn't going to film this week and then I realised that this little routine that I'm in, I've only got four weeks left of it and then there's, yeah, I keep alluding to, I've alluded to like two different vlogs now, but there is something really exciting happening in about a month's time and I will reveal that at some point during this vlog. I need to go and do my day of work and then we'll uh, reconvene. It is five o'clock. I have just finished work and I've just got changed. By changed, I mean I swapped my sweatpants out for jeans. You know when you're like, it's cold and you hop into a spa pool and your toes go all tingly? That's how my face has felt all day. I'm not even that concerned about how it looks. It's just, it feels so uncomfortable. I am on my way to drop off Nana to the airport because she has been with us for the past two weeks, but she's going home. Home time. Do you have anything to say to my viewers? Oh, what a wonderful two weeks I've had with my darling granddaughter. Oh. I'm home. My dinner's ready. I've just got a handful of lettuce. Oh no, my mozzarella cheese! That's leftover meatballs and gnocchi, which probably isn't the best thing for my skin right now, but I'm not about to let food go to waste. It's half past seven. I actually got home and got changed straight into my PJs because it's dark and it feels way later than 7.30. I'm gonna watch an episode of Drive to Survive. They just released the dates for the 2025 GPs. I was like to mum, I was like, let's go back to the old GP. And she's like, no, let's do this one instead. And I was like, yeah, okay. We're going further afield, hopefully, if I can get, like, you know, leave from work and I probably need to start saving for it now. So this is my dinner and I'm gonna go and enjoy it. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Skin update. I set my alarm for 5.30 to get up and go for a run and I, I couldn't even open my eyes. So I just went straight back to sleep for another hour. And then my alarm went off and this eye was sealed shut. So I had to like pry it open. Went and had a shower and it's looking, ooh, I, didn't actually, I was gonna say it's looking better than it was and don't actually know that it is looking better than it did when I first woke up. So I have a big work commitment this weekend, which honestly like, is probably going to be like a career highlight for me so far. So I kind of want to be there, you know? So I'm gonna try and book an emergency doctor's appointment when the doctor's open at eight o'clock. Like it's only getting progressively worse. If it gets worse than this, genuinely, I will be bedridden. I won't be able to open my eyes in the morning. Last time this happened, they just prescribed me antibiotics. I took them in literally within like 12 hours. It was better. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's only 12 o'clock. Arguably probably got worse. Uh, I've been to the doctor. It is so sore. Like, my face feels like I'm on fire. I've got such a headache right now from crying. Oh, this is such a sleigh. <laughs> I have taken sick leave because I can't function, can't concentrate. Love, love, love. This is not how I thought this week was going to go. It's uh, quarter to six and I'm just cooking some dinner and <laughs> this was meant to be my dinner for Friday night but I was actually planning on being out for dinner tonight at church but clearly I'm not there because I figured I can't really see. Anyway for dinner we're having a salmon bowl. I'm waiting for my finish, my finish to, waiting for my rice to finish cooking and then I'll put together my sushi bowl. But what have I done with my afternoon? I watched two episodes of Drive to Survive, read three chapters of my book, started planning the itinerary for my trip to Sydney that's coming up in a couple months. So annoying and I wish I knew what caused this because this is the third time this has happened to me like on this kind of scale. But I'm just so scared it's gonna come back because it is so painful, so vicious, comes out of nowhere, freaking I'm swinging at me. I wore makeup the other day. Was it the makeup? Because it was the makeup. That's the second time that has happened to me as well. And so I kind of just never wear makeup. I've only worn makeup literally twice this whole year. And this is what happens. That's embarrassing. I'm 22. I want to wear makeup and look pretty. We have the finished product. Isn't that stunning? I'm going to eat this and watch another episode of Chapter Survive. Good morning. I'm still rugged up in bed. I've got like my it, winter is on the way. I have like my duvet and then I have my massive fluffy mink blanket and then I have my top sheet and it is so cozy like I don't really want to go to bed today. But I'm just doing my, my bible reading. But my face, I woke up at like half past two and I opened my eyes and I was like okay that's great. I can open my eyes. That's stunning. It is looking so much better than it did yesterday. Today's Wednesday and all going well, I will be working today. It is a glorious autumn morning outside and I'm just gonna 
chill in my room for a little bit longer, finish my Bible reading for the day, have a shower, have some breakfast, and start work. Work is done, and based on the previous clip you saw it, probably just looked like I moved from here to here, but I promise you I have been moving around. I haven't actually been outside today, that's really bad. I have some riveting plans for my Wednesday night, let me tell you all about it. This morning I was getting ready for work, and I was looking in the fruit bowl, and noticed that I had some nasty looking bananas. So I whipped up to the shop and grabbed some eggs and some chocolate, and I made some banana choc chip muffins, and I went to go put them in the oven. And I was like, these are going to taste so much better when they're fresh. I put them in the muffin tray and put them in the fridge. And they're now sitting on the bench getting to room temperature downstairs. And I don't actually know if that makes a difference. The oven is preheating and I'm going to put them in the oven and bake them and take them with me tonight. Because tonight I'm going to Connect Group and I'm so excited. Literally my favourite thing ever. I'm so excited to see the girls and we're doing the fourth part of a four-part study on prayer. That is my Wednesday night plans, but before that I need to bake my muffins and I need to have some dinner and I need to be out of the house in an hour. But I'm not really stressing because I am planning on just having packet pasta for dinner, which is not ideal for my skin, but I already meal planned before my skin got bad, so we're just gonna have to roll with it. I find that dairy and tomato are bad for my skin. I have two different packet passes, so I'm gonna have the pumpkin one just to avoid the tomato as best I can. But because of these stupid antibiotics, which aren't actually stupid because they're the reason I can see up my eyeballs right now, I can't have any food tonight after 7 p.m. I need to do all of my eating before seven o'clock and I need to be at Connect Group at 6.30. I, I need to make some moves. <laughs> okay, here are my muffins. They just look, they're, they're just, they're not cooked yet, obviously. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and you have to do them at 200 degrees fan force for 10 minutes. And then you drop the temperature down to 170 or something for another 10 minutes. We've set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. And then we'll have some beautiful Whitaker's Choc Banana Muffins. Sounds great. But for dinner, I have these two pastas. This is my favourite one. Tomato and... Actually no, I don't think this is my favourite one. I think they stopped making my favourite one. I had bacon in it, but that's there's no bacon in these. But I'm going to have the creamy pumpkin and roast garlic one. And it's literally so easy. You just put it in a bowl and chuck it in the microwave for like two minutes. I just had to pause it so I don't get copyrighted. But I'm currently having an Abba dance party. This looks like a bit of a dog's breakfast, to be honest, but smells good. It kind of tastes like packet pumpkin soup with like tortellini. I'm going to enjoy my pasta and my Abba. I've got it on shuffle play. Let's see what the next song is. Yeah! Dinner has been consumed. I'm so full. Five o'clock is way too early for dinner. My muffins are ready. You gotta admit, that looks pretty tasty. Here's my little basket. These look, oh, they smell amazing. They look amazing. I'm gonna link the recipe down below. I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I kind of have this reputation at Connect Group of being the baking gal. Every single week, I take some sort of baking. It always goes down a tree, and we're in like more and more girls are coming every week. And last time I did baking, I didn't do enough, and I felt so bad. Like there were 13 of us, and I baked 12 cinnamon scrolls. So one person had to miss out, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I need to get myself ready to leave the house. In 25 minutes. I just need to get changed. Put my things in a bag and get some cream on this face of mine. This is my go-to flare-up cream. I would use it all the time but it's like about $70 for this tiny little pot. Packing my little tote bag. Bible and church notes book but I want to talk about this for just a second. If you've been around here for quite a while actually. I can't remember when I did these. This was when I was living in Hamilton anyway. I only have literally like two of them left and when once I'm finished with them I'm gonna want more. So I'm wondering if I might do a rerun and make some more of these. If you would be interested in one let me know because if there's I think I have to order at least 50 from memory. This is the first edition one I did. It was this orange color. Look at that in the front. Church. This one had like the space at the top for like speaker message verses and then a whole bunch of space for notes. When I redid it this one is the same except I made it look a bit prettier and I left space at the bottom here for prayer points and next steps so that when you go away from the message you actually have something to implement. I like this design and I don't think I would change much about the inside I'd probably just change like the front cover color and stuff but if you guys would be interested let me know. Like I said I have to get 50 of them made and I myself as one singular person am not going to be able to use 50 of them. <laughs> Morena, it is 7 a.m. and I am about to go for a run. My skin is so good today and I'm so stoked that I need to 
like get moving because I need to start work in like an hour and a half. Today I'm just doing 35 minutes of running, which is probably gonna end up being like 5Ks. And I'm gonna run with a vest today. So I'm three weeks out or three and a bit weeks out from when I'm planning to do my half marathon, I'm not actually entering like a half marathon like event. I was planning on doing that in September because I had one down at the beach. But then I realized how expensive it is to enter like an actual half marathon. Like it's like a hundred dollars. And that's like a week of groceries, if not more. And I'm not willing to sacrifice a week of food to do a race that I can do for free in my own time. I'm gonna head down to the beach in a couple weeks time and just do the run, but just by myself and save myself a hundred dollars. <laughs> but today I'm gonna run with a vest. This is Sage's vest. She had this one when she ran her half last year. And I was gonna buy one, but like literally after my half marathon's done, my running shoes are going away for the winter time because it is getting a bit miserable out there. I was like, oh, I should buy a vest. She's like, literally just borrow mine. I was like, mm, twist my arm, I guess. This is her vest. It's a little lemon one. I'm yet to run with it. Today's going to be the first day. Even though I'm only doing 5Ks, I do not need a vest, but I want to get used to running with one so that when I do my half, it's not like super weird. I also invested in some, they're actually trail running bottles, but apparently they're what you use for running half marathons or long distance running or whatever. They're just from Amazon. Oh, they smell like plastic though. I tried to get rid of the plastic smell, but it's kind of come back. There's so much going on in this vest. I can't even, even... Mm, I love when my water tastes like plastic. Okay, this is, this is what it looks like when you have all the gear and absolutely no idea. I have returned. Although it made me feel so legit, I don't think running with a vest is for me. It's so annoying. Let me just put it back on and show you what we're dealing with here. This is the vest. We flip her up. Stunning. She's an athlete. I didn't take the straw on this bottle, but they're like, they're flimsy, so they collapse. I was running and this one had some air on the top of it, so it was literally like flapping about in the breeze. And I was like, this is so annoying. So about a kilometer in, I was like, I'll take the lid off, squeeze the air out the top, and then put it back on. Hopefully it won't like move around as much. Squeezed a bit too hard. I haven't drunk any of that. That all went on the ground. And my phone was like in behind it, so the water went all over my phone as well. While I was... Out running the postman came the packaging i'm like this looks like it could be food it's like from a company it's a pr package i'm pretty sure and this company is known for having like elite pr packages so i'm gonna go have a shower and then we'll have some breakfast and open that and see what's inside i've just had my shower and i had to go to the freezer to get some toast freezer is like up in the attic so i went up the stairs and we have like we've got a bit of a rat problem at home at the moment but i think it's like a universal thing because i've seen a lot of people have got rat problems at the moment there's been a rat roaming around up there for a couple days i saw it last night because i have a security camera set up and we have a whole like charcuterie board up there for these rats we've got peanut butter we've got poison we've got traps we've like they're sport for choice but anyway this dumb rat put its head in the trap and got caught so he is now dead so i'm gonna have to go and dispose of him i won't have time to do that before i start work but we'll save that for later on in the vlog but right now it's time to open this oh yes it is from my besties at Whitakers unwrap a little piece of paradise. What is this? They must have a new flavor. Okay, it's really heavy. This has got like a few blocks in here. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, is it mango and a coconut? Mango and stop! Caramelized white chocolate mango and coconut. Get out, Whitakers. What the heck? I have the chocolate in my mouth. I just filmed a little. Instagram story for it. It tastes like yogurt and it is so good. What is it? You've done it again. Break time and it's time to go and dispose of my little rat friend. And if you don't like rats, or you don't want to see this, I'll put a timestamp on the screen. You should probably cut to that as quickly as you possibly can. Here he is. Oh, buddy. That sucks for you, doesn't it? Look at the size of that tail. <laughs> That's so stale. <laughs> POV, you work from home and this is how you spend your lunch breaks. Basically, he's going into the bush. Three, two, one. He got caught in a tree. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the disposal of my rat friend. I hear a funny story. How literally last night I was telling you guys about how I'm avoiding tomato, I'm avoiding dairy. Well, <laughs> introducing my lunch, tomato pasta. <laughs> I am going out for dinner tonight with my brother and Sage and their flatmate, well, basically my brother Ryan and Sage's mum and sister because they're out from Australia at the moment. Um, and we're going out to a Japanese restaurant in Auckland, which is our absolute favorite all time. It's called Saki Ban Nippon. It's in Epsom and it is the best. So we're going there for dinner tonight and I probably will be eating dumplings. So I can guarantee they won't have tomato pasta or probably tomato full stop on the menu. And I'm gonna read my book. I have been trying like on my, I, 
I think I said this like literally a year ago and then nothing changed. In my lunch break, I've been trying to not look at screens because I spend my whole day looking at a screen. So I've been reading on my lunch breaks instead. This is the book I'm reading at the moment. It's called Love Me Do. I got it from the Melbourne airport when I was leaving because I had some Aussie cash to spend. And so far I'm loving it. The author is Lindsay Kelk. The cover's kind of cute. I'm like over halfway through now and it is really good finished work and I need to go and pick up my brother and everyone else now to go out for dinner which I'm so excited for but I will not be bringing this beautiful piece of equipment with me. Outfit of the night so basic because it just started absolutely pouring down with rain. Cardi tank top jeans belt 550s which I refuse I refuse after I spent like $200 on these I refuse to admit that they're going out of fashion they're they not on my watch they're not. The 550s are in Thank you for listening to my TED talk. I'm gonna go and have some Kai. Good morning. Happy Friday. What is the time? 6.45. Not gonna lie, the alarm went off and it was raining and I was like, oh, do I just go back to bed? Like, I don't really wanna run the rain. But I was like, no, God, trust you that it's not gonna be raining when I need to go for my run. And we've got clear skies. Thanks, God. Shout out to you. I have returned from my run. I am showered and we're going for the slick back approach today because it probably should be hair washing day, but I'm saving that for tomorrow. It was such a beautiful morning. When I got out there, it was like foggy, which was a little bit concerning. I did have to be very careful crossing roads because I couldn't see cars, which meant that they definitely could not see me. But it was stunning. I want to show you guys my outfit of the day. It's kind of cute. If you don't like it, don't tell me. But this jumper, which I literally got this in my first year of uni. It has been a wardrobe staple of mine for what, like four years now. It's called the Inner Bloom or Inter Bloom jumper. I feel like they still sell on Princess Polly, but anyway. And then the iconic daydreamer pants from Cotton On, which I also got in my second year of uni. So two things that have stood the test of time. Now, while I'm getting my breakfast and things sorted, it is probably time that I told you guys the news that I have been alluding to this whole entire video. It was not my intention to wait until Friday to share this, but I woke up this morning and I was like, yeah, I haven't told the vlog yet, have I? As I've been mentioning, there is a big change about to happen in my life. To be precise, it is happening in about three weeks time from today. And as you can probably tell by the smile on my face, I'm pretty excited about it. So as you know, well, you may not know. If you're new here, kia ora, I'm Emma. Nice to meet you. But if you've been around here for a while, you may know that I work full time for a social media agency. I work from home five days a week and it's great. I've had this job since my end of my second year of uni. I started part time, did part time for a year and now I've been full time for a year and a half. So I've been there for two and a half years. But for a while I have been thinking that it's time to have a change of scenery. And so three weeks from today, is my last day at my current job. I don't think I've still wrapped my head around the fact that I'm leaving. This is my first time properly leaving a job. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, resigning is a really awkward experience, would not really be. But you're like, Emma, what do you, what's next? Not really on my agenda to uh, leave a job and not have uh, something else to go to because I have bills to pay. I do have another job lined up. What is my new job, you may be asking. Introducing the new assistant brand manager what should I say where I'm working? I feel like I probably shouldn't. Maybe I won't. Anyway, presenting Emma, the assistant brand manager, which what does it entail exactly? You know what? I'll tell you after I've been there for a little while because at this stage, I'm not entirely sure. Like I, I appreciate how when you apply for a job, they give you like a full on job description, but I don't know about you, but I find those incredibly hard to interpret. They're using all the internal jargon and I'm like, you know what? Sounds good to me. For starters, the biggest change for me is going to be that I've been, since I left uni, solely working in social media marketing. And yes, that is going to be like a portion of my new job, which is going to be a change. But it's a change that I'm excited for because like social media is great, but it's not the be all and end all of marketing by any means. I'm really excited. I start, yeah, in well, three weeks today is my last day at my current job. And then I start my new job on the following Monday. The biggest change for me personally in my lifestyle, which is what I alluded to in my previous video, is that I'm going to be working in the office five days a week. I haven't had a job like that before. I'm looking forward to it. Like I think it's going to be a really, like a good change. That is my big life update. And I'm so excited. Lunch time and surprise surprise I was having another Abbott Arts party and surprise surprise she's having dumplings and I have a random like little salad thing going on here. So I'm going away tomorrow to Topo and I have food that needs eating including a carrot which most definitely and it's still kind of crunchy. Carrot, cucumber, edamame and my dumplings and I'm gonna go read some of my book. I've got like 15 minutes left of my break and then I'll be back at my desk to finish off the afternoon. I have so much to do tonight before I leave tomorrow. Lock your seatbelts for that because it's probably what you're gonna see next. <laughs> it's Friday then. <laughs> it is Friday and I just finished work. 
I'm so excited for the weekend, which is ironic because I'm actually working all weekend. Honestly, this could be about to be the two best work days of my whole entire life. I know I said that I had work this weekend, but I don't know if I actually said what my work is. I am tomorrow going to the Rotorua, but that's not where the fun's happening. Bright and early on Sunday morning, I am driving over to Taupo, to the Taupo Motorsport Park, for the Super 400. I'm working at the Super 400 on Sunday. So one of our clients at work, at my like current job, but the one that I'm leaving in three weeks, we're there capturing content for them. So I'm going to the eights. Like I know my expectations are literally like all the way up here coming off the back end of the Australian Grand Prix. But honestly, a track day is a track day and I will be present and I'm so excited. Since I don't really have a weekend, I need to do all of my life admin tonight. Allow me to read out my to-do list for you. <laughs> I need to go start my uncle's car because it's parked on my lawn. He doesn't come back for like another few weeks, so I need to go make sure his car still goes. I need to bring my washing in, I need to do a house clean, I need to cook dinner, I want to call my nana, and then I need to do my life admin stuff, so I need to update my budget, do a meal plan for next week, plan my next week, and then I need to pack my bag, hoping to be in bed by like 9.30, 10. Firstly, go see if, um, Michael's car will start. I kind of didn't start very well the other day, so I'm really hoping that it does go. Ooh, that didn't sound too healthy, did it? Oopsies. I literally had one job. Got the washing in. Also, don't mind the fact that there's literally nothing on here, nothing on there. It's because everything, everything's on my bed because I'm getting ready to wipe down everything. Share the spray and wipe and color coordinated microfiber cloth. It's time to get cleaning. a new angle in the kitchen this evening. For dinner, this is featured in my meal prep video, but I'm doing the corn fritters again. We have a whole feast for dinner. Because I just don't know how to cook for anything other than a whole army. Um, these are all the other fritters. Breakfast for tomorrow? Time check. It is overexposed. Oh, that's the wrong screen. 6.48 p.m. Need to meal prep. Need to plan out my week for next week. And I need to update my budget because I get paid monthly and today is payday. So I need to separate my money out into my accounts. But I also need to figure out what I need to eat because I do my grocery shopping at the start of the week on normally a Sunday. But Sunday I will not be present in Auckland to be doing that. I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I don't know what to cook. I'm only planning for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday nights because I think I'm going out for dinner on Thursday night. And I don't really know what's happening for the rest of the week. So we're just organized for three days. Monday night, we're having satay chicken curry. Tuesday night, we're having pizza. And then Wednesday, I'm making this delicious looking pumpkin and feta tart. Look at that. And I'm also getting ingredients to make the, oh my goodness. I tell myself that I can only make it at Anzac time because it's an Anzac slice. But it is my favorite sweet treat in the whole whole world oh it's just so good it's like an anzac biscuit but a caramel slice like in one so i'm gonna make that on wednesday so that we can enjoy it on thursday it is 7 52 p.m so i need to give my nana a call hello hello nana it's emma oh hi emma 8 25 and i need to go find myself a little suitcase to put some things in so Let's go up to the attic, shall we? I'm only going away for one night. This is my famous last words. I don't need much. Am I still gonna overpack? Probably. Are there any rats up here? <gasps> oh no, it's a piece of wood. See that block of wood sitting on the step? I thought that was the rear end of a rat. Suitcase inside this one. I'm gonna zip it back up. Because I don't really fancy little Remy making himself at home inside my suitcase. Back when my brother was living at home and him and Sage are doing long distance, like between Australia and New Zealand, we'd only see Sage like a couple times a year. And so I'd just like Snapchat her all the time. I'd Snapchat her with the most random things. And one of them was the Stevens wildlife experience because we just have so many creatures, insects, animals in this house. Exhibit A being... Remy. Anyway, <laughs> just found this one. Welcome to the Stevens Wildlife Experience. We have a beautiful bush cockroach. It's quite large. He's not caused me any harm, so he can just stay there. I'm honestly not too concerned. Need to pack some toiletries. Oh, these lights are not meant to have strobing effect. That's kind of concerning. Let's just 
Let's just settle for one light. So all I have is toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant and moisturizer. I wouldn't be going away for one night. Oh, I need body wash though. Stunning. There really is not much to pack. Like this is pretty much it. There's a lot of stuff I can't put in until the morning, like my toiletries, my Bible, my pajamas, like phone charger, things like that. But one thing I do need to sort out tonight before I go to bed, otherwise it's gonna consume my brain until I leave tomorrow, is what am I gonna wear to the races? It's gonna be cold. Like I'm arriving at the track at seven o'clock in the morning. This is Topor. There are mountains right there. But then by the afternoon, it's gonna be like 17 degrees. All I know is I'm gonna wear my Converse on my feet. And then we might be going out for dinner tomorrow night. So I need to pack something that I can wear out for dinner. But then I need like a comfy outfit for traveling in tomorrow. Jesus, please help me to know what to pack because I don't know. I'll have a track outfit, but my dinner outfit will be my plan B for the track. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Let me just uh, rearrange this so you guys can see what's on the menu for breakfast. Leftovers. <laughs> it's just gone 8.30. I don't really have much else to share to be honest other than I went to sleep, I woke up, I had a shower and now here we are. I just need to finish packing and then go to the supermarket and get my groceries for the week. But the weather is so miserable. Groceries are secured and that was a primo time to go shopping. I didn't have to wait any queues, like there was just a checkout open with no one waiting and I just waltzed on in and bought what I needed to buy and I'm back in the car and it only took me like half an hour. But I'm gonna go to the pharmacy now and pick up a repeat for my antibiotics for my skin infection like my skin is fine but i'm just a little bit nervous that it's going to what's it called when it like comes back can't think of the word i'm nervous that's going to happen and so i just want to get the antibiotics on hand so if i need them i've got them and if i don't then i can save them for next time i am home and it is 20 past 11 so i'll have lunch at like 12 and then probably hit the road because i'm literally just waiting like <laughs> it's like waiting to leave the house. Since I am going away for work and stuff and there's like blurred lines, I don't know what I can film and what I can't. So I'm gonna close the vlog off here. Head off on my little trip. But I'm so, I'm, oh my gosh, so excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. If you made it this far in the video, comment your favorite sport. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I will see you in my next video. Jesus. I feel like my face is like a balloon. You are the dancing queen. Knowing me, knowing you. But anyway, you don't care. Uh, that was disgusting. Uh.